everybody, and welcome back. I'm Congresso, and thank you ever so very much for joining me. This is the path to modernity. Mayo in Texas 3.0. We are the mighty French absolute empire. We rule Europe with an iron fist, and we are on what can be described ooh, interesting, as the final push. We are moving towards establishing some nice looking and defensible land borders in Europe. And we are on the road to getting it done. So, visor just died. Um, national manpower up seems good. They're both bureaucrats. Um, don't need mercenary costs and stuff. So, sure. Seems good. Um, Tech-wise, we are going to want to get a tech soon. So, I think I'll stop performing until I can get Colombian Exchange. They should probably rename this tech. Considering Colombian, ex Colombian Imports comes... So much earlier in the game now, but anyway, um, earlier as if you know, earlier than the tech, not earlier than it used to because it didn't used to exist. What idea, what institution penalty am I getting? Is it academia? No one's invented academia. Is it this? Yeah, yeah, scientific methods. That's right. Okay, but well, it's growing pretty quick, right? Yeah. Oh, hey, we have got it growing over here now. I thought we only had it in the uh, east, but it looks like it's growing over there. Good. Anyways, yeah, we're getting 17% from that. And uh, meritocracy. We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, what idea group do you want? Do we even want another idea group? And I mean, the campaign is beginning to come to an end. And I apologize, by the way. I don't think I actually... Oh, I'm recording. <laughs> okay. That's a little bit of a goof. <laughs> My bad. There you go. <laughs> Man, I was so close. So close to recording the entire episode like that. Restart the episode, Christo. It's only been two minutes, Christo. You could just redo the intro. No. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I think we take... I mean, I don't want to take an admin idea because I want to keep reforming things. I didn't really show anything that interesting so far. Apart from just looking at the fact that, you know, we're... Only one year ahead of time on Colombian Exchange. Um, I kind of want to take Empire Ideas. For the elite power from autonomy. Um, that's kind of it. The more monthly autonomy is... Okay. Well, is the monthly autonomy even useful? In the, I mean, Homeland France, as you can see, we are crushing it on autonomy. The highest is kind of all the way down here, which is probably just because of communication beginning to get a bit bad. Just look in here. And some heretics. Not helping things. Yeah, so I think we don't take an admin idea group because I want the admin to keep reforming our government. So we could take another military idea. Honestly. Because what do we take so far, military wise? We took standing army. Does that mean I can get grand army straight away? No, we have to get um quantity to get grand army or quality to get professional army it'd be kind of cool as france right to go towards grand army so we could take quantity ideas cheaper cheaper garrison infrastructure is kind of cool cheaper manpower national supply limit modifier military production up is actually going to help our industries increased levy investment from the elites is cool training cost modifier i mean all of this is nice siege speed's good this doesn't seem... Oh, that's... Oh, 10% infantry is very strong. The rest of this does not seem very good. Yeah, this this seems like a bad idea. I mean, that is a, a 10 out of 10 idea. But the rest of it seems pretty weak. I think we're going to get quantity ideas next. Uh, and that's going to help us save uh, mana where it's important to us right now. Anywho. We are pretty much at our limit on aggressive expansion in Europe now. Yes. We could probably beat up England without people getting too mad. Because there's not... I mean, there's still quite a lot of Catholics in there. Um, we could beat up Portugal, I guess. Portugal has no overseas territory now, I'm pretty sure. Well, I mean, apart from their uh, little African holdings. Is that right? Ah, oh, no, they have some... Some small stuff down in Brazil. We could take that off them. Might just continue to destabilize our... Uh, Brazilian holdings. But yeah, sure, let's, uh, let's pinch the last little bits of... Portugal's colonial empire. Oh, and they're um, trying to take land in Mexico right now, but they're actually losing to the locals. Rip. Six months of commerce, burger tax relief. Cool. I 
none of that is actionable. Right, 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 I forgot. We just did a big old hit on the Nobility's uh, Monopolies, which is gonna, has completely crushed their happiness with us. So on the monthly tick coming up, they're probably going to um, get real mad at us. So if there's any way I can get them happier with me. But I really don't want to do any of these. I mean, this one's not that bad. It will anger the other factions. I think this is actually okay. Because the influence will come back down again. And we're okay. Like, our, uh, our bureaucrat influence is plenty high. So let's actually promote the bureaucratic faction. And it angers the other factions, but I'm pretty sure it does it through the... Um, I should stop pausing. It does it through their relations to the state. Here it is. Factions. Yeah, which is already... I mean, they're fairly neutral, but they're not too bad. And yeah, they will increase the autonomy a bit. But we need... I mean, 20 is really low. <laughs> no opportunity in Peru. Right, and the Papal State hates me right now. Why is that? Todesius. Yeah. That is a problem. There's not a huge amount I can do about that. Good old yearly tick. Wow, so those are getting longer. That was like a minute and a half or something. Anyway, um... Expeditions expired, and some more Brazilian separatists, huh? Some people need to know when they're conquered. Let's get some men in there. All right, uh, more conversions. Did we get the conversion idea yet? No, so we're not gonna, not able to get rid of this center just yet. But we're getting close. We're getting close to being able to crush that uh, center reformation. Speaking of center reformation, we should attack the Platinus. And force them to convert, which should get rid of this Protestant Center of Reformation. Don't know why that didn't occur to me sooner. I probably mentioned it on a video and then, you know, took a long break and forgot to actually do it, <laughs> is my guess. <laughs> Let's mobilize the men to the uh, the border with them and uh, get that sorted out. More colonies becoming self-sustaining, but these are ones we've already replaced, as I recall. And a bunch more conversions, but none of them missionary-driven, so no action needed there. And I'm pretty sure we've got all the... Ah, oh, right, no, we haven't started calling our new holdings. Do I want to call them? I'm not sure I do. Um, the autonomy is going to rise. Uh, but the unrest is is already uh, already active. We've got 13 unrest. Yeah, we're going to have to put down re revolts here either way. Especially because it's Lutheran. So, I don't think we want to call this yet. I think we want to focus on getting... That good old Colombian imports tech. Right, uh, disputed concessions. Bohemius doesn't have a kid. That's pretty good. Hey, Denmark's 40. They're pretty big. Denmark, you want to marry me? I know we just had a war. And was I trying to vassalize someone? I already got all my vassals in place. I think I have them in place, right? Yes, we got Savoy already. We could feed Savoy their uh, their cause, and that is, in fact, what we should do next. War with uh, Milan and Naples. Is that going to threaten any of my international... Alliances? Looks like no. Good. Um, and then Genoa is going to annex you. So let's do that. Good. As you can tell, it's been a while since I last recorded, so I'm just uh, remembering what the heck was up with uh, this campaign. We're not actually going to take any land off um, the planet at this time, but I wanted to get the claim anyway. Ah, right. Yes, yeah, so I should probably stop sending those expeditions to Peru, because I think it is just the coast... I think it's just this coast. I think we've now actually kind of taken all the edges apart from stuff that's owned by a subject of a subject. I don't really want to uh, cause conflict with them for no reason. So, cleansing of the heresy. Mundrick and them. Go, go. Let's just roll into the big forts and let the allies take care of the, uh, the minutia. Colonialism or goal against England could be useful. Be a good way to get some low aggressive expansion land off them. And just burn down England, which is always nice, of course. Excuse me. Did they react to where I, where, where my troops went? Ah, it's because I brought the boats out of port, right. Uh, yeah, we're actually going to go with severe looting. Because my objective is not necessarily to conquer an economically prosperous land. It's just to push to the river. And the more we loot this region, the cheaper it will be for us to annex. Luxembourg loves us. How are we doing? We are about, uh, what is that, 10, 
15% of the way towards being able to annex Luxembourg. That's nice. This war will obviously be utterly trivial. Come on. Come on. Get a de Valois. You know you want to. And then, yes, yeah, so do I want to improve with um, Denmark to try and annex them? Not annex them, sorry. Marry them. I think we should. I mean, it would be fun if we could get just yet ever more mental Game of Thrones action going on in Eastern Europe. By Eastern Europe, I just mean Europe east of us. You guys can... Oh, they're, they're so bad at selecting the correct transport ships to use. Does this province not have a port? No, I guess it doesn't. Alright, come over here. Yes, so I was saying earlier, I apologise for ending the series. I know there's a lot more that could be done from this one, and I do genuinely really enjoy playing you know, late game. We're obviously the most powerful country in the world, and that will remain the case for the rest of the game. I mean, Greyhound, actually, to be fair, could... They'd put a fight. <laughs> they put up a fight. They got a lot of freaking men. But um, we'd obviously dominate the world from here, and uh, I do enjoy dominating the world. It's not that I dislike the fact we've snowballed so much. It's just that having taken a kind of... I don't know, what was it? Like, month and a half break from this campaign, and then I played it for a week before that, and then there was, like, another month and a half break. It's just really... I'm kind of out of the... The headspace of the campaign, if that makes sense. And uh, I often find that that means I'm much less enthusiastic to play it. And if I'm not enthusiastic to play it, then I won't record it. So either way, it's a good idea for it to come towards an end. And I can, you know, start a new campaign and, and be more enthused about that, which will be fun. Fall of Mains, we're going to loot them. I've changed my mind on our strategy vis-a-vis -vis looting. Right, yes, so the papacy, they actually don't dislike us by very much. They're beginning to get over that whole Tordesius scuffle. Um, I would like another claim on them, though, so... Yeah, Denmark, you're not going to marry me, are you? Well, they might, actually, if we really pushed it. Milan has arranged for me to be excommunicated. What impeccable timing, just as I was about to improve relations with the freaking Pope. Crap. That's really bad. Screw you, Milan. Oh, if I just remembered that I needed to improve relations with the Pope, which I noticed just before the yearly tick, but then forgot about it in the minute and a half the yearly tick took. Oh, that is... Because if you don't know, you can't be excommunicated if the Pope's opinion of you is positive. That is... That hurts. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. I will conquer the world regardless. I mean, you know what? We could just <laughs> could just convert. But uh, no, we're not going to do that. I am going to take tech before I get this idea group. This idea filled out, I think. Well, I don't know. Yeah, don't go back to Peru. All right. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> I'm sorry. These yearly ticks. <laughs> They're really long, man. Um, let's get a claim going. So this... Why can't I claim these? Do I need 60? Ah, I do need 60. Okay. Only up to 50 so far. Anti-corruption campaign has ended. That's exciting. We will definitely get another one of those going pretty soon. Two more conversions. I think I will... And bureaucratic expansion. Okay. I think I will actually take this idea next rather than the tech. Because the institution's tech penalty is something we should be able to get rid of soon. I am going to keep saving money. So we can get... Because both meritocracy is now, as you can see, present in Paris. And we thought we were going to have to get it to spread to, like, six different cities. Um, but actually, I think the, the development of Paris has dramatically increased um, in recent times. So going here is actually working better. Where else should I send expeditions? I think it's roughly based on these map modes, but it's not. It's not even... It's not exact by any means, but it's roughly these. Um... I guess so we could let's let's test. Can I send it to inland South African provinces? Try going to. It's not on the list. Am I crazy? Did I miss it? Central Africa, Northwest Africa, West Africa. Where's South Africa though? Is it counted as like Southern Pacific? Huh, that's weird. Well, let's try and send it to um, Atlantic Mexico. See if I can pinch some provinces uh, over here. Get our own little uh, Mesoamerican thing going on. I really like... 
I know I have lots of strange takes on these videos, but I really like the word Mesoamerican. It just feels, I don't know, I mean, very appropriately, it feels like a kind of Spanish-Anglo fusion. I have to imagine the Meso and Mesoamerican comes from um, a Spanish word. But, no. Yeah. Fall of Stugart, loot them. Alright. A new Pope! I think that means I can petition to get unexcommunicated, but I'm going to have to make them like me first. I forget, what does being excommunicated actually do? I think it's not that bad, because we're so much later in, you know, the evolution of the, uh, uh, you know, the church and all that. I'm okay to go back down to zero stability. As you can see, our manpower completely tanked after the nobility hated us, but... I want to get up to 100 um, state reach. And I also want to do a uh, anti-corruption measure. So I don't really want to wage wa raise wages because wages are already like 80% of my freaking national budget. Um, don't want to take a big hit to loyalty. Don't want to recall corrupt officials. Don't want to overturn the status quo. All right. <laughs> We've established we're raising wages. Yes, let's do that. We're paying you crap loads of money, bureaucrats. Just be happy with it. That's how that works, right? When you give rich people more money, they're happy, and then they just stop being corrupt. <laughs> it is an odd system. <laughs> I guess it's not actually that we're paying the bureaucrats very much. It's just that there's an unbelievable number of bureaucrats compared to how many there used to be. And, uh, yeah, that means that some of them are actually being relatively badly paid. I was about to say it really feels like we're not making any progress on admin point gain. I was like, oh, I wonder why, <laughs> Christo. <laughs> Do you think it might be because you keep spending it all on bureaucratic reforms? Yes. Yes, you know, I think that might be part of it. Let's uh, call back from one of these. And let's also do a little, little wave of uh, making sure everyone is in trade companies as well. I not have... Oh, that's where I have men, yeah. And by men, I mean provinces. Good. New colonists available. Um, loop them. Let's go. Is that an available province? No, it's just a little... You have a... Um, yeah, some more Australian land, sure. There's crazy farmland size down here, so... Should be able to grow in the uh, kind of mid to long term. And there's the ability to get this claim, which I will throw down, and then come back from them, because we're not going to get to 70 before they catch us. So hey, uh, everybody, you can go. I just want your prestige. In fact, actually, turns out I uh, already have plenty of prestige, so you can just go for nothing. And this will hurt their alliances. Um because they're uh, piecing out early and they lose yeah and they're losing some prestige themselves not that, that really matters to me much but I'm doing this just so they have shorter truces because you never know when you want to have a um just take a little sneaky it's tempting you know I'm tempted but we're not gonna we're gonna play it smart we're gonna force their religion to stop it spreading it is gonna make taking land off them cause more war score uh, more aggressive expansion so how about we actually live a little dangerously? Let's force their religion and take some land. Um, why is it costing me admin points to take this land? Oh, that's the coring cost. Oh my god, it's been too long, man. It's been too long since I played this game. I'm going to take some land off them in this war because converting them will make it uh, harder to take this land in the future. And I want to border uh, some further inland. And I will take some money because our truce length with them is not going to be very relevant. Okay. Boom. No more Center of Reformation. Good. Which I think is the last one. The last Protestant Center of Reformation. Except obviously for the one in my territory. So there we go. Nice. Uh, you lads can return home. Any other... I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure that's right. There's no other centers of uh, 
Lutheran sense of reformation. And the Hussite ones have already gone away, I guess, just because they had long enough existing. But, uh, no. Okay, cool. Um, now, the problem now looks like unrest is high, but not in the colonies. Well, not in the colonies I directly rule anyway. So that's not too bad. Corruption looking real nice. I'm tempted to tank stability. Oh, well, we already did the corruption thing, so I actually can't, can I? But I was, I was going to say, I'm tempted to tank stability by actually doing the minus two stability reform society thing, but I don't think I need to, to be honest. I think we're, we're actually kind of okay. I mean, corruption is, uh, it is going up, but that's mostly just because of the events, surely. Uh, Atlantic Mexico was successful. Okay, let's let's take a look. Don't upwards. Where do we get? One of these, I guess. I'm not sure which one of those we already had. I think we got this one. I think that's a new one. Cool. Yeah, well, I'll keep sending a few more of those because there are some more um, natively controlled provinces around here, especially the ones that just went back from Portugal. <laughs> so we can get a little bit of uh, extra stuff going on over there. Seems good. All right, yeah, take time. Right. Back to having everyone pay taxes. And we got excommunicated ruler CV against Castile. <laughs> because we are excommunicated. Marvelous. <laughs> Marvelous. Thank you, game. That's fantastic. All right. They like us again. Which I think means that at some point they should offer us a way out of this excommunication. But uh, I'm not sure. Anyway. Let's... Go to war for some of our vassals' cause in Savoy. Do, do, do. It's funny, because Savoy is obviously uh, French these days. Um, you know, this, this whole bit is French. But I really think of it as different, like a different region in my head, because France in EU4 doesn't start owning it. <laughs> That's not a joke, by the way. I think it's quite funny, but it's not a joke. <laughs> I think of Savoy as very Italian. And I think there is some Italian influence still in... Is it still called, you know... I don't know if it's called French Savoy or just Savoy or whatever these days. I was there recently, so I should know. <laughs> but anyway... Um, I was lucky enough to be... Was, uh, about here recently, which is good fun. This is a... Uh, I think that valley goes the other way, though. I'm not sure if this is right. Anyway, maybe I was here. But uh, Mont Blanc's, like, here somewhere. Um... The, the, the Savoy flag, like this flag, and variations on it, are still all over the place. Um, but everyone speaks French, as far as I can tell. So, I don't know how much, kind of, differing culture there is in, in Savoy. The Turkish Empire, Denmark, and Portugal. Excuse me? Turkey, push off. Why are you, why are you, why do you want to get involved in this? How many boats have you got? Can I not see how many boats there are from here? That should be in the. That should definitely be in the tooltip. Um, okay. Well, I'll stop privateering them for a second. Go protect trade in the channel. Uh, you also go protect trade in the channel. Expedition. Keep going to Mexico. I'm gonna. I'm gonna declare the war. Still, I'm just gonna take a little bit longer to prepare for it. I don't think. Who's, where are these guys going to rise up? They want autonomy in the, in the whole freaking country. All right, not going to happen. We got any separatists with any actual numbers behind them? Yeah, the reactionary warlord is a little problematic. But they're mostly overseas. So, you know, relatively low development, low population provinces. Apart from um, uh, Guinea, this is, this is relatively well populated. There we go. We have got our uh, Tordesius. So we're not going to make people hate us for that this time. Um, am I happy to declare this war? Yeah, I think I am. I think Castile will get sieged down and therefore will fight Portugal. Even though, you know, normally they wouldn't fight because they're not, uh, they hate us. But yeah, I mean, I'm not going to let them just get away with holding these cores that are clearly rightfully my subjects. But I don't think we're going to siege down the uh, the Turks. That seems like a 
very, very large military expense that there's not much reason to do. That is something I hadn't considered. We are going to get a big coalition forming against us. That's kind of a problem. <laughs> That's a little bit of an issue. Let's, uh, let's see how big it gets. We're going to go for severe looting again for the same reason, just to cause damage to the provinces so they're cheaper to take in the future. Um, who did I want to spy on? That's right, of course. Milan. Um, yeah, we'll see, we see, we'll see how big this gets. Um, I don't think there's that many people in here that are able to join. Well, there's quite a few. It's probably about a quarter of Germany or something. There's, there's a few people. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. where should I collect trade? Let's just do it in a random, yeah, Delhi, sure. Collect trade up there, because we're, uh, yeah, there's a fair amount of money there. Lots of trade power too, so we're going to get very, very little, but you know the drill. I don't care about merchants anymore, because we've got just far too many of them. I have enough to I have enough merchants to touch all of the trade nodes that we currently actually have access to, so. Uh, should we invite Bohemia to come help? They look like they're busy. Hungary's going to get absolutely dunked on here, by the way, but that does not bother me. They're not in a war. They don't have very many men. They'd probably just lose a bunch of fights. Nah, let's call them in. Why not? We have plenty of favors with them. Yeah. Might as well. It'll swing the balance of power. Let it make these guys more willing to uh, peace out. Plus, maybe they'll help us uh, peace out Denmark. HRE really not having a very good time uh, this campaign. They're, uh, that's what they get for electing these inconsequential little pipsqueaks. Oh, but he is actually voting for us. That's funny. Probably because they're um, the wrong religion. So they basically hate everyone else in the HRE. It's just me that's willing to kind of keep developing friendly relations with them despite that. I'm not going to take this because I want to take the idea. Why the hell is this idea costing so much? Oh, it's not. It's bugged. No, it's not. It's a Diplo idea, you prat. <laughs> My bad. I'm glad the episode did not end before I realized that. <laughs> That's funny. All right, well, we will take the Colombian exchange now then. Unless we're very close to being able to adopt something. We're pretty close to meritocracy. You know what? Uh, da, 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 da. Utility decisions, by the way. Auto investor should not be a utility decision. Automatic investment is off right now. That's right. So we're saving lots of money. Um, I mean, not that much money. Do I want to take this? Because meritocracy is a, what is it, a 20% tech cost reduction? Yeah. And then uh, scientific methods is that kind of 80%, 20%. Yeah, I think we should let meritocracy spread a bit more. Because it is spreading. It can't spread internally because there's a bug in this version of the game. It should be spreading to all of these provinces from adjacency, but it's just broken. Um, we're at... 86% here, 48 here, 70. We're probably going to wait for just these two. Because, I mean, that's 90 development. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's, you know, two-thirds of another Paris. So that's going to knock off a, uh, a sizable portion of this cost. You know, 300 ducats or something. So I am going to... Uh, I think we're going to let it spread a bit more. Oh, look at that! Meritocracy is actually spreading in... Um, down here in some... Oh, that's still Turkish? Okay. Turkey took all of Venice? Blimey. Okay. Interesting. This campaign is, uh... It's kind of getting away from me a bit. Alright. You guys. Get me some more of these forts. Burn these guys down. Steal some wealth. All good stuff. Oh, no. Definitely shouldn't have ta uh, chosen the option that let us see these, by the way. Which people said in the comments as soon as I did it. <laughs> Ah, am I not excommunicated? Ah, you don't have to be excommunicated in order to get stability from this. Nice. Okay, yeah, please. Um, and don't really need usuries or anything like that. Could spend some indulgence, but I'd rather, rather use the money for um, institution buying. We obviously have the numbers in this war, by the way, just overwhelmingly. Some of those numbers are overseas. 
And yeah, as predicted, Castile is fighting. Though actually, Castile, are you loyal now? I think they must be, right? Because they're not showing up as a... There's no alert about it. Yeah, Castile's loyal now. Okay, cool. Holy war against our own Australian colony. Classic. We're going to loot them. I'm going to loot them wherever they be. Good. So stability probably trending down, if I had to guess. Yeah, but not very quickly. Corruption trending down. Nice. Cranking this to 100 is going to rate corruption go up a bit. But, uh, come on. We can't end Path of Modernity without some, some freaking stay reach, man. Hmm. It would kind of be fun to play a smaller, taller campaign. I think they've rebalanced it since this campaign. Because the, the thing that made this campaign... One of the things that made this campaign go so insanely well... I'm going to talk over this yearly tick. But one of the things that made it go so insanely well was the fact that state-owned property is just kind of broken in this build. As you saw, we're making just mad stonks off our uh, own property. Which is partly because, you know... I invested in it. I put lots of effort in so that we owned such a huge portion of the dye mines up in uh, Picardy. But it should be costing us uh, upkeep. Whereas basically, at the moment, if you don't spend Diplo upkeep on it, nothing happens, really. Like, you don't lose it. Whereas in the more recent updates of M&T... When I say now, I mean, you know, in this build. But in the more recent versions of M&T, you, uh, you actually end up losing property. It gets handed out to the other local elites if you don't pay the upkeep on it including the monarch point upkeep because uh, as you can see right now like all of it's going on property maintenance and the only reason that's happening is because it wants to be spending much more than that on property maintenance what i'm not familiar with is whether it, the game actually tells you how much you need to be spending on property maintenance with your diplo taxes because it comes out of your diplo taxes which means that if you could kind of just not know and end up losing a whole bunch of uh, of property which would be obviously a very bad user experience Oh, right, I forgot. Portugal's in this war, so we're getting all this lot. And we're only getting... <laughs> oh, crap. We're only getting one... Minus one executive authority? Excuse me? Oh, right, because it's lowering relative to our very high... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That seems like a very small amount to gain, though. Oh, we're annexing... Rexing Genoa, of course. Which I should start saying as Genoa, by the way, not Genoa. I like, I know I'm very bad at this often, but I like attempting to learn local pronunciations for names. My, my contempt for merchants has got so great that I'm actually going to not place them when we have them spare. Except we haven't got one in Paris right now, which we should definitely have. <laughs> Would you just annex someone? I'll just go to war of it. Um, but yeah, I'm actually going to not place merchants. Uh, as long as we've got ones in the in the actual meaningful trade routes. Okay. Yeah, so it makes sense, of course, that we're getting Diplo points very, very slowly. And because we're getting Diplo points very, very slowly, I'm not going to um, force Portugal to give me colonial land in this war. I think that would be wasteful. Uh, it would cost lots of Diplo points. We're just going to do the, the core return. And then immediately launch a core return war against Naples, who hopefully is not guaranteed by the freaking Turks. No. Good. Are they guaranteed? Oh no, guaranteeing the people's state. But yeah, so we could try a Italian campaign. Right, we could play as Genoa or something. And if you play as Genoa, obviously you have one city. And you're going to focus a lot on Genoa. There's still plenty of room to grow. We have played as Genoa before in MNT, not in 3.0, of course. But uh, I think Genoa, they're, they're such an interesting one to play. Because they have so many different routes to expand. Because they own land over in the Black Sea and in the Aegean Sea. And obviously in the Tyrrhenian. So I think they could be a really interesting one to play um, and really try and focus on knowing why Liguria or Zena, the city, is growing and, and trying to, to become rich by owning the really profitable industries of our, our very profitable city. I think that would be, um, I think that'd be cool. I think that'd be cool and interesting. So we can embrace meritocracy just by saving up enough money, not because it's spread to a new one. And... Uh, Let's take a look at that spread rate. We're getting 0.3 a month from 83% here. So this one's... Let's say if we waited for both of them. Um, well, 0.3 a month is, uh, you know, 3.6 a year. So we'd be waiting another kind of five years. That's a very rough number, I know. Well, we're not going to wait for that, but I am going to wait for this, I think. Uh, and then no one else is closer, right? 
No. Okay. Cool. So we didn't need to build the uh, new local administrations and stuff here, here, and here, and here, and all that. But it's going to crank the autonomy down. So it's no great loss. And yes, I'm glad I didn't take this tech because obviously we're going to get this first. And scientific methods is still bumping in uh, in all these places with our glorious, glorious tech growth there. No, it's not growing here anymore. No, it is. Well, I must have just missed it. Loot them. A new disease. A bubonic outbreak. Oh no. <laughs> Can you feel? Feel the emotion in my voice. Yes, yeah, so our allies not doing too badly. Progressing against the north. Expedition from Portugal. Excuse me. Where is this? You're trying to steal my freaking... What gets made here? Uh, cash crop? Yeah, but what cash crop? I can see that here, can't I? You're trying to steal my maze? You piece of garbage? Can't I see? I thought I could see... Maize, millet, may, potato. These are not. These are not cash crops. <laughs> What's the cash crop? Tropical trade. I thought it named the cash crop. Oh, I can't cycle these because I'm. It's not cord. Well, anyway, obviously we try and fight them off. I'm not going to give you this province for a hundred ducats. Are you crazy? I should have good mill tech, so we have a good odds. Of, we should have good odds of fighting them off. England enter the military coalition. That's a little troubling. But obviously, we are uh, should be fairly easy to win this current war, at which point the coalition will implode. Right. Uh, cool. Don't take my province, Portugal. I'll be very unhappy if you take my province. But yeah, obviously, Hungary having a bad time, but that's okay. Hungary exists to be a buffer state. Between us and the Ottomans, their 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 function in life. Like, what's that? Uh, I actually I actually don't know what that's from. Is that from a TV show? You know the robot. Like, what is my function? <laughs> and then you tell him it's functioning. He goes, "Oh God, Hungary is like <laughs> yeah, Hungary is very much in that situation. What is my purpose? <laughs> to be sieged by the Turks? Oh God. <laughs> mm. That's their uh, that's their only function. But it's also the reason they exist, and. Uh, the reason that I have protected their independence from people like the Austrians. So, really, I think they should be grateful. <laughs> Freaking heck. Scientific methods absolutely chunking its way through. This province specifically, faster than anywhere else. That's interesting. But yeah, getting there. Getting there in Paris. Ooh, I can purchase a new age ability. So, remember, some of these I made. Um, but I've never selected any of them before because I've never get to this age before. So we have global unrest minus one. It's not bad. Let's rivalries. These are all kind of... I only changed them if I thought they were totally unsuitable. Um, our treatment cost will be useful in vanilla, but less so here. Um, admin efficiency plus five is pretty nice. That also helps with um, paying bureaucrats, actually. Yearly corruption minus one, though. I mean, that's only this corruption, not uh, not regular corruption. But yeah, I think we got to take the corruption, right? Yeah, we'll take the corruption followed by the admin efficiency, I think. That seems good. And you know what, actually, as well? This is our golden era. Begin a golden era. The French golden era has begun. Nice. And that shouldn't, if I look around, good, shouldn't screw with the UI, which it used to. That took me ages to figure out how to make that not screw with the UI. <laughs> What's the siege? Conversion. Good. Uh, yeah, just keep going to Mexico. And, yeah, getting there here, and then scientific methods, presumably, yeah, only one province, obviously, so I can't accept that yet, but, but we're getting there, and we're making plenty of money, because we're not auto-investing. I will turn the auto-investor back on, once we have scientific methods embraced, um, but I think it's a good idea to pile the money into tech for now. Um, our provinces are very rich anyway, so it's not like with the auto-investor off, there's no investment happening. I have to imagine, though, that without the, uh, the substantial... Oh, hey, do you know, it's annexation finished. I didn't even notice. <laughs> Without the substantial influx of um, state funds, that will be uh, that will be significantly slowing our economic growth. Because we're, we were, what we were basically doing is collecting huge tariffs on 
our global trade network, and then pl powering that into uh, into industrial investment, basically. And reducing that is, uh, of course, going to slow down the rate at which things can improve here. Back down to zero stability. That's not a problem. That was expected. We can do that. So I think we might actually get 100% war score in this war by uh, full sieging Milan. Um, I'd like Denmark to go away. Just some trade power will do. And uh, then our northern allies will focus on the Turks. I probably think they'll still lose, but uh, by allies, of course, I mean my equal partners in this union of crowns that we have going on. Um, I still think they'll lose, but they might slow the Turks down. <laughs> equal partners, remember. <laughs> Equal partners whose only function is to slow the Turks down, basically. We were really lucky that we got Hungary. If t if uh, the Turks had taken all of Hungary... Um, I mean, we were lucky to get Poland as well. But if we, if we hadn't got Hungary, the Turks would probably have taken a lot of it before I kind of had the uh, the initiative to go and try and, and hold them back. And then we would have been in a bad spot. We'd have, we'd have had much more trouble containing Turkish expansionism. That said... We haven't contained it. <laughs> I mean, they have got a bunch of Italian land that really I ought to be more worried about. Do... All right, we're there yet? Not quite. Getting there, though. I've never embraced meritocracy. Did I embrace it in the World Conquest campaign? I think this might be the first time I've ever embraced meritocracy in the... Uh... Um, in Mayo and Texas, ever. Like we played as Spain, uh, Spain, as China, but you start with it. You play as Ming, in China, rather. So, I mean, that doesn't count, obviously. I can't remember if we embraced it right at the end of the World Conquest campaign. We might have done. We would like to get the Turks to break their um, relations with Milan, because we are going to go to war with Milan in the future. But their army is probably a tiny bit stronger than mine. And we could raise a whole bunch more men, but I'd just... I'd rather not. They are running out of manpower. Hmm. They, I do have a coalition against them. So if we hurt them, the coalition might fire. That would be good. I'm assuming we can't join a coalition against them. No. Nice. New success, another successful expedition. Oh, sorry. I'm not sure the yearly tick has actually happened yet. <laughs> right, there we go. Sorry, I am paused early because I thought the uh, thought the yearly tick had happened, but it was actually just the monthly tick, which actually happens first. Another merchant's got withdrawn from somewhere. Well, I'm not. I'm not going to check. I'm not going to check. We're uh, we're trying to make headway here. Come on, embrace it. Anyway, uh, so we could peace out now. Probably um, could just say, hey. Give the cause back. And that's, you know, almost no aggro. Could also take a little bit more, though. <laughs> you know the temptation's always there. I think we'd give them to Savoy so that the uh, border looks, looks less heinous in the short term. But it's only 11 aggressive expansion. I mean, what's 11 aggressive expansion amongst friends? I may with uh, may withdraw. People have been saying they don't like the the border where I go all the way over here, so I may withdraw. Yeah, to just this as our as our European border, which would be easier to get to as well, which is something that I care about right now. I think this is good. I think this is a fine piece deal. Um, let's do this and some money. Is there any reason to press on the war? We're just. I mean, we have we're letting. We're basically spending our manpower and our allies' manpower to lower the Turks' manpower. I don't think the Turks' manpower is a long term concern. If I wanted to raise military taxes and to go all levy on mass, we could absolutely annihilate the Turks, just completely obliterate them. And I may yet do that. <laughs> but uh, until such a time that that becomes necessary, or we decide to do that, I don't really care about them. It's one of those, you know, I hate you, I don't think about you at all kind of situations. Poland is trying to... Sp get giving us the chance to catch up in knowledge sharing, scientific method in our capital province area. Um, no, it's spreading like wildfire anyway, so that seems unnecessary. Um, 
and we could embrace this as well, but obviously, yeah, I'll let it, I'll let it spread on its own a bit more. Cool. More conversions. And yeah, still holding off on tech. Won't take like talons ahead of time um, because we're going to plow into some military ideas next, which will be nice. Get our quantity ideas going. Some cheaper manpower. Remember, I think, not certain, but I think cheaper manpower doesn't just mean cheaper manpower and trading costs for us, but also for our estates, which means richer, more powerful estates, which in some ways is bad, but if it's equal us and them getting more powerful, then the power share stays the same, but the whole country is richer, which is, you know, a good thing. No! Bohemia had a kid. Oh, well. Oh, well. Not going to get Bohemia. Looks like Denmark had a kid too. We were caught spying in Milan, but we don't even need to spy in Milan anymore. Let's spy in Naples instead. And then next month, we'll declare war on them. Get some of these Savoyard cores back. And we'll probably yoink these provinces as well. Interesting that the coalition hasn't deformed. I imagine it definitely would if we restarted the game. There we go. Community of Faith unlocked. Immediately stop one of these conversions. It's time to get rid of these darn Lutherans in Vinay's who have been causing me such trouble. How long is that going to take? Is it doing 2% a month? So 50 months? Not bad, honestly. Not bad. Come on, meritocracy. Spread. Oh, my wife's home. Well, I would love to embrace meritocracy first <laughs> before I uh, begin my evening. And we are only a month away. Let's go. Meritocracy's done. Not meritocracy's done, sorry. Coring. Wessex is done. Really, we haven't called Wessex yet? That surprises me. That does surprise me. Okay, there we go. It's present here. It's spreading up here as well. Cool. Um, we're not going to wait for it to get from 56%. 90%. I mean, it's only 30 months. How much is it going to save us? This is Leone? Yeah. Leone is going to cost us less than 120 ducats. That's not worth saving. I won't be long, Muller. Let's embrace meritocracy. Boom. Minus 20. Holy Christ! I totally forgot about the other benefits it had. <laughs> I was so stuck on the 20% technology cost. Minus 0.3 yearly corruption. That's minus 3% corruption, by the way, effectively. You know, trading equilibrium. And 5% admin efficiency, which means it's 5% uh, cheaper to pay our bureaucrats. That's so good. That's so good. And then scientific methods is obviously coming up not long behind. But I am going to take the tech now rather than waiting for scientific... Well, no, no. I'm going to wait for scientific methods. It's not going to be very long till we can save up the money for it. We could even, like, leverage the uh, burgers and take some money. I don't think... Wait, hang on. Can you take direct loan money from them anymore? I don't think you can. We can, we can negotiate a loan, but... All right. Well, that's pretty crazy. Our monthly corruption is now going down by 1.01 a year, which means it's going to go down to about 21 corruption. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And we're getting rid of those darn Lutherans. Exquisite. Oh, it's slowed down quite a bit. Why is that? Hmm. Not sure. Anyway, I am going to call it a part there. Thank you ever so very much for watching this latest episode. I will see you in the next one. Getting closer. Getting closer to that wonderful, wonderful land border. Thanks so much for watching. See you then. Bye.